Resident Evil 4 Remake reviews have come out today. A lot of the reviewers confirmed some really amazing gameplay stuff that we have to talk about. And don't worry, we will not be talking about story spoilers. Just some amazing things that many comments were afraid and worried about. Which I'm happy to say guys, it's looking pretty good. A lot of concerns have been fixed and the reception has been overwhelmingly positive. And let's be real, was there ever any doubt in our minds about this? Well, for many who were upset with Resident Evil 3 Remake's cut content, you could say yes, there were some doubts. But it seems that this time around for Resident Evil 4 Remake, Capcom is well aware of this and made sure to keep the iconic moments in there. And even though some elements may have changed or been left out from what the reviews are saying, it sounds like any moments that have been replaced have been so greatly enhanced in a way that is an improvement of the old. Which is super exciting to hear coming from diehard Resident Evil fans, such as Susie's Fear Hunter. Be sure to check out her channel if you guys have not yet, she makes really dope content. Susie played the game early and her first playthrough took 17 hours, and in total, without realizing it, she was so engulfed with replaying the game that before she knew it, she put in a total of 100 plus hours in the game and more is soon to come. It's safe to say this game is insanely worth it. Even the reviewers who had a negative experience with the game and stated that they preferred the original Resident Evil 4 mentioned that regardless, this is a great game to play. You will not feel like you're wasting your time or money with it. It's a legit great purchase and a strong game of the year candidate, which is awesome to hear. Even the naysayers have very positive things to say about it. We also got confirmation that the laser aiming, which many viewers have been asking for, is actually in the game and available very early on. We saw it already within the demo settings, of course, but it's really nice to hear that you can unlock it pretty early and from a side quest that you obtain from the merchant. And other weapons also have the option to use the laser sight as well. I guess one negative universally seems to be that the merchant kind of lost his grisly tone, which is a shame, but it doesn't put a negative experience on the overall fun aspect of it, right? Just a little disappointing nitpick. Hit that like button if you cannot wait for Resident Evil 4 Remake, guys. We have a week left and I'm beyond excited. Tonight, we're going to be playing Resident Evil 2 Remake for the first time ever on the channel. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on it. We're almost to 110,000 subscribers and it would mean a lot to reach that before the stream. I've played it before, but I've never finished it. So if you want to see my genuine reactions to certain things, come through. Now with that being said, let's get back into the video. In the final game, Leon's dodge mechanic is there, which wasn't in the demo outside of the manual crouch and moving backwards. This sort of tells me that the demo we played was in fact an earlier build. We don't know exactly how old it is, but various elements seem different from what we were seeing in the latest trailers and gameplay updates. I really cannot wait to play this game on PC guys, but I hear the next gen console experience has been wonderful so far. The previous demo had complaints from players on PlayStation 4, but I haven't seen any reviews for how the final game plays on PS4 just yet, so we might have to wait a little bit to see what they say. Apparently this time around, Resident Evil 4 Remake has the best gun sounds out of any of the previous Resident Evil games. Many fans have had complaints saying that the weapons sound like they don't pack a punch. Previously, we did talk about how in the menu for Resident Evil 4 Remake, there is an improved weapon sound option to make the impact of them sound even crazier. But it's nice to know that in RE4 Remake, they really went into more detail to give our ears some much needed blam blam. Also, speaking on the guns, some viewers had complaints that the shotgun doesn't seem to kick back enemies as far as it should. I really don't know what they're talking about. Outside of Dr. Salvador, who is supposed to be tanky and sort of a mini boss, the villagers do indeed get blasted back far even in the demo. Hell, some of the chest shots can separate their torso from the rest of their body. But apparently the shotguns also have a consistent crit chance as well. So regardless of what level of power that they are upgraded to, they'll be dealing insane knockback and damage. One other interesting detail comes down to the files that you can find in the game. Multiple people recommend going out of your way to find those because it seriously enhances the backstory of certain enemy encounters, further expanding on the game's overall lore and story, which is a detail I absolutely love. From major enemies to even minor encounters that may seem one-off, you can read certain details that go insanely deep and completely change your perspective on certain things. We have heard from the developers many times that they aim to make Ashley feel more of a partner this time around, but it's great to hear from actual players of the game that this is in fact true. She no longer feels like this helpless, annoying character that you have to babysit all the time. I mean, you still technically have to babysit her, but she's less of a nuisance and is very helpful. Not to mention, her and Leon have more dialogue between each other in the gameplay, which further establishes a relationship for the player. This can also be said for many other characters too, they made it a point to go into much more details in the remake. 
There is one big negative that may be fixed with the day one patch. Apparently, on the hardcore difficulty, one of the later game bosses mechanics would not function properly, and players had to cheese it by selling all of their inventory to buy a rocket launcher in order to bypass the mechanic. I really do hope this is fixed because you guys already know how much we love to play games on the hardest difficulty, and I really do want to try that out. It's been stated that hard mode requires a lot of planning to get through certain areas, which is also very exciting to hear. What do you guys want to see? Me play through the hardcore mode first, if available from the jump, and get my cheeks clapped, or go through the normal playthrough, which I hear is still very hard, and then tackle hardcore with a bigger arsenal? Comment below and let's get a discussion going. YouTube's ad revenue changes have really been a journey to deal with this year. We are community funded at the end of the day, so feel free to join and become a member on the channel to help support the content that you love. It basically is a built-in Patreon to YouTube, and we have multiple tiers, and you guys can access our channel-exclusive custom emojis in the comments and live stream chats as well. I'd personally love to get to 500 members so we can add more Resident Evil emojis and anything else that you guys would love to see in there. We have lots of great things coming on the way guys. A lot of the reviewers also alluded to the Ada Wong DLC not being in the game, but also are excited for the future ideas of Capcom adding it in sooner than later. I seriously cannot wait to play as her with these new gameplay options that the game has to offer. Mercenaries mode is already a confirmation after the game releases, but after that I can see the Separate Ways DLC coming later in this year, so Capcom can spread out tons of replayability within Resident Evil 4 Remake. I also do think Capcom should take a little bit of a break after this. It sounds like they went crazy ham on this project, which is to be expected. But whether it's Code Veronica or Resident Evil 5 Remake that's coming next, I think they really need to sit back and take it all in. They seemingly knocked it out of the park so far with Resident Evil 4 Remake, but for future titles, it's going to be exciting to see just exactly how they take them. Especially Code Veronica, which many fans are dying to see before Resident Evil 5 Remake, which I personally don't think needs a remake, but it would be interesting to see how they do that. What do you guys think they should do? Either way, it's going to be a massive year for gaming, and I think we all win at the end of the day. Resident Evil 4 Remake sounds like a dream come true, and I cannot wait to play it next week for you all. This year has flown by already crazy fast. We're already a quarter through 2023, and the best has yet to come. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. More Resident Evil videos are on the way and you will not want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.